igneous rocks are rocks that are that cool and solidified from magma or lava. Okay, so these are rocks that cool from the solidification of magma or lava. Magma being molten material from underneath the Earth's surface, a lava, which is molten material that's above the Earth's surface. Now, igneous rocks are typically described by its texture, okay? Now, it's not how it feels, but more of it refers to the mineral size, okay? So texture refers to the mineral size of the igneous rock, okay? Now, when you look at a portion of your reference table on page 6, the upper right-hand portion, we see texture, the conical texture. And crystal size. Now, in terms of igneous rocks, they have two categories that they're separated into extrusive and intrusive. Now, with extrusive, EX, you would refer to exit, something that's outside, okay, something that's at the surface. Now, these igneous rocks tend to cool rapidly, and because that they cool rapidly, they have smaller minerals. Now, being that they have smaller minerals, okay, when you look at the texture, they're either going to be fine, glassy, or vesicular. If it's fine, that means that you can't see the individual minerals without the help of a microscope. Okay, if it's glassy, essentially it has the appearance of glass, it has a glassy appearance. Right, it's nice and smooth. The crystal didn't have time to grow. And lastly, you have vesicular, which also means it has holes or gas pockets. So these are the textures for extrusive igneous rocks. Now we have intrusive, in meaning inside, from underneath the Earth's surface. Now, these igneous rocks cool slowly, okay, so they're trapped from within the Earth's surface, so they cool slowly. The heat can't escape as easily. With that said, you're going to have larger minerals, and in terms of the texture, the texture will either be coarse or very coarse. Coarse meaning that you can actually see the individual minerals, all right, so you can see them without the help of a microscope. And coarse, very coarse, meaning that they're quite large. And you have this, if you look underneath the, the column for crystal size, it's either going to be non crystalline, so that refers to glassy and non vesicular, or you can have uh, those that are less than one millimeter, so those are fine texture. Then you have Going to the coarse, the larger minerals, they're either for one millimeter to ten millimeter, okay, and the very coarse, ten millimeter or larger. Now, let's look at the upper portion of the reference table. As you can see, it's separated into extrusive and intrusive igneous rocks. So, the extrusive igneous rocks, also known as volcanic, they include the following. Obsidian, pumice, vesicular rhyolite, rhyolite, vesicular andesite, andesite, basaltic glass, scoria, the cycle of the salt and the salt. 